In this video, we're going to learn about nucleic acids and their structure. A nucleic acid, uh, some, some of which you may have heard of, DNA and RNA, are polynucleotides. They're polymers, which means that they are long chains, long chain polymers that are made of putting together individual units, individual monomers. The individual monomer for a nucleic acid is a nucleotide. And in order to really understand the structure and function of nucleic acids, it is important to understand what a nucleotide is made of. A nucleotide has three important parts. One is a five carbon sugar, then a phosphate functional group, and a what's called nitrogenous base, which basically means that this is a basic um, functional group and it has a lot of nitrogens. Now, not only it's important to know what the different parts are, it is also important to know where they are connected to this central five carbon sugar. And the numbering is very important. So let's spend some time on it. As I mentioned in previous videos, these corners that you see are meant, is accepted that we assume that they are meant to represent carbon. So these numbers that you see I put next to them, it's supposed to refer to the numbering of the carbon. And the scientific community um, have decided that they number the carbons on this five carbon sugar with a prime addition. So the way we number these carbons is one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and five prime. And it is very important for you to know not only um, the structure of a nucleotide, but also where these elements are connected uh, to the five carbon sugar. So you need to know where the one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and five prime carbons are, and which ones these are connected to. So in DNA, the name is deoxyribonucleic acid, and in RNA, it is ribonucleic acid. Both of them are nucleic acids, but the sugar in RNA is ribose, in DNA it's deoxyribose. So the ones that have the letters that I've underlined form the basis of the name of these two different nucleic acids. Now let's talk about similarities and differences. First of all, both, the, both DNA and RNA are similar in that they're nucleotides and also their monomer has three parts. We already talked about that. What are the differences? RNA is single-stranded. DNA is double-stranded. That means there are two backbones. This is one backbone, and this is another backbone. So DNA is double-stranded. RNA is single-stranded. In DNA, the reason this is double-stranded, the reason these two strands are held together is because the nitrogenous bases that we showed here, these nitrogenous bases actually hydrogen bond with one another. So these two strands are held together by hydrogen bonds. So what other difference is there between DNA and RNA? The difference is in the composition of the nitrogenous bases. There are tip general four different types of nitrogenous bases. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and in DNA is thiamine. But in RNA, instead of having thiamine, you have uracil. So in some ways, the similarities between on DNA and RNA is that they both have cytosine, they both have guanine, they both have adenine, but 
DNA has T in it, and in RNA, there is no T, there is a U. So DNA and RNA are made by connecting nucleotides to each other end over end. Just like we make polymer in carbohydrates and protein, when these polynucleotides are made, they are connected end to end via covalent bonds. Now, what type of reaction do you, uh, do you think is involved in forming a DNA polymer from individual nucleotides? And then here's a riddle. Your friends love RNA more than DNA. Can you guess why your friends love RNA and not DNA? It's a little fun, fun exercise. So come to discussion to check your answers.